Eric and Mac at Paula Cooper Gallery. Eric and Mac is an artist who transcends traditional boundaries, seamlessly merging elements of fine art, fashion, and architecture. Recognizing himself as a painter within the realm of fabric, Mac's creations often transcend the conventional confines of the canvas, delving into dynamic interplay between painting and sculpture. His inaugural solo exhibition of Paula Cooper Gallery marks a significant milestone in his career, building on his representation in 2021 and his participation in four group exhibitions since 2020. Over the past year, Mac has undertaken prestigious residencies at the Chinati Foundation in Marfa and the American Academy in Rome, further enriching his artistic perspective. The focus of this exhibition is a mobile-like hanging structure suspended from the ceiling, adorned with cascading swaths of multicolored fabrics. This captivating installation, inspired by the classic fountain concept, emulates the fluidity of water in a perpetual self-sustaining cycle. Central to Mac's artistic process is the theme of regeneration, breathing new life into discarded materials. Mac amalgamates disparate elements creating a visually stunning narrative. The gallery walls are adorned with a series of abstract assemblages, meticulously crafted by Mac. These works, defined by their use of found fabrics, serve as paintings that embody the physicality of each material. Mac views the collection of fabrics in each piece as an archive, preserving and showcasing his chosen materials while drawing attention to their aging process. The juxtaposition of fine silks, suiting, and graphic prints resulting in a dynamic interplay of tautness and curvature, softness and saturation, all within a vibrant spectrum of color. Born in 1987 in Columbia, Maryland, Eric and Mac now resides and works in New York. Although he identifies as a painter, he consistently challenges the conventional canvas to stretcher format. Mac's exploration of color, form, and material as integral components of a compositional lexicon places the foundation of his practice in the investigation of painting within the expanded field. His primary medium consists of strained and dyed fabrics, steering away from the traditional artistic materials.